Hello, today's topic is banded chert. So in this barrel, I have one big rock that's been tumbling for a really long time. I wouldn't be surprised if it's been tumbling for a year now. Uh, just spent forever in the coarse grit. Uh, there were some little nicks and cracks and stuff that I just kept rolling, rolling, rolling it, trying to get them out. Finally got them all out and I put them in 220 grit for two weeks, still in the rotary tumbler. Uh, then I went to 500 grit for a couple weeks and then it's been in polish for four weeks and I'm really excited to see how it turned out. So I'm going to open that up later. Before that, I thought I'd show you this. Uh, this is chert from a little town called Norwood over on Lake Michigan, just a cute little town and the beach is covered with this stuff. Uh, it's all kinds of this just banded chert. Uh, chert is related to agate and jasper and flint. Uh, which are all really hard rocks, or like Mohs 7, and so they tumble up really nicely. Uh, typically the harder the rock, the better it tumbles. There's other factors too, but that's a big one. This is some banded chert that I got here in Alpena. Um, I like this a lot better than, Nor than the Norwood chert, uh, but it's a lot harder to come by too. So here's one that looks nice, but this one's a little bit better. It's got some real fine banding on it. And then this is one of my favorite rocks of all time. Uh, at the end of this video, I'll put up some before and after pictures because I do have before pictures of this one because I knew it was going to be nice right, right as soon as I found it. So this is right here in Alpena. Um, and uh, this is just an amazing looking rock. It's only gray and white. It's not super colorful like some other rocks, but I just really like it a lot. I think it helps it when you find them yourself. Uh, so this is uh, some more examples of some rough chert. And this isn't going to turn out probably quite as nice as, uh, as the one that I just showed you, but it's pretty nice. Here's another one. So should we get to the main event? Let's see what's inside here. Are you as excited as I am? Needs a little bath. It feels smooth. Oh, that's awesome. I am not disappointed. Look at that. Really good shine. There's ceramic media in here. A lot of people use plastic pellets, and I've used plastic also. In fact, this is the first time I've tried a load with ceramic all the way right to the end. And uh, I think I'll be doing that again. No, it's not, it doesn't have the markings that other one has, but uh, it's big. It's got some nice swirly patterns up here in the front. Not much in the back. But I'm really happy with that rock. So, that's the, uh, that's the video for tonight, and stay tuned for the pictures, before and after pictures of the one over here. Thanks for watching.